Hello, everybody. Andrea here. So I want to talk to you guys about your teeth whitening business and how much you should be charging. I talk about this a lot and I want to talk about specifically why you should be charging it and how you really need to think about your price and your fee. First of all, you need to remember, charge what you're worth. You're not going to have clients come to you if you're charging $10, $10 for your teeth whitening services. They're going to wonder why you're charging so little. They're going to go to somebody who actually knows what they're doing, that kind of thing, right? And always set yourself apart as well. Look professional, look the part, you know, don't advertise in your tank top and jeans your, you know, $300 teeth whitening service, nobody's going to come to you because they kind of feel like, hmm, I'd rather go to a professional who's doing teeth whitening. I kind of feel like this person's going to mess up my teeth. It sounds silly, but it's so true. So how much do I charge? So in the Whitening Pro Academy, I teach people how to start their own teeth whitening business. I teach you guys how to be teeth whitening technicians and how to have a successful teeth whitening business. And there's a full module on how to charge, how to accept payment, and how to really get paid what you're worth. So I charge $200 per hour for my teeth whitening services. That's professionally applied teeth whitening. But I do this because in my area, number one, that's a good price. If everybody in my area, dental offices, dental hygienists, teeth whitening technicians were charging $99 for teeth whitening, I'm not going to charge $200 because nobody's going to come to me unless I'm giving them, I don't know, something extra, right? But $200 is absolutely fair. And hey, I'm making $200 per hour for teeth whitening. Do I offer sales? That's another thing that a lot of people ask me. So that's up to you. I find when you're starting your own business, when you're new, I tell my um, teeth whitening technicians, there's no problem offering a sale, but you want to make it short term and you want to make the sale that works for you. Let's say you want to be busy this week, but you realize you have no clients book. No, nobody's coming to you, but you have time. Why not offer a sale for this week only? They have to book the appointment and come in this week to get $25 off or more. It's completely up to you. But just remember, you need to make it worth your time per hour. Time is money. Personally, if I charge less than $200 per hour, that's a waste of my time. I could be cleaning teeth, making more money than that. So teeth whitening, I want it to be worth my time. Um, so you need to think about that too. If your sale is too crazy, well, are you making any money? Because you still have to pay for those peroxides. You still have to pay for those cheek retractors. You're paying, if you go to your client's home, you're paying for gas to get there. You get the idea, right? So make it worth your time. Another trick that I teach all of my students is you don't want to offer sales once a month or something because then nobody's going to pay regular price. Personally, I never offer a sale. That's just never worked for me. I used to offer a sale when I first started doing teeth whitening, but nobody wanted it. I kind of feel like my audience felt I was cheapening my service and they're kind of like, ooh, she's offering a sale. This isn't like her. This is weird. I'm not going to do it. But everybody's different. You might offer a sale and get 10 more clients that you wouldn't have gotten if you didn't have a sale. So something to keep in mind. But I really want you guys to look around first in your area to see what others are charging. If you're not sure, then you do have to play with things a little bit. If you're charging $200 per teeth whitening and you're not getting any clients, you have marketed everything and nothing, then okay, you might be charging too much. But you know what? It's kind of embarrassing to have to charge less. You know, people are going to know what you're doing. So I tell my students, if you if that does happen to you, if you charge too much, um, first of all, it's almost better to not charge enough and then have so many clients. You're kind of like, oh my God, I don't know what to do with. Why did I charge so little? You can always raise the price. It's a lot harder to have the price up here and then realize you're charging too much and then bring the price down there. They're going to wonder, right? but you could change up the names a little bit. So again, I talk about this inside the Whitening Pro Academy where you can change up the names. You can offer a advanced teeth whitening session or a VIP package teeth whitening session. That includes a professional, let's say 45 minute treatment where you are applying the peroxides. They can go up to five shades lighter, but it also includes a take home kit for them to boost the results at home once a month for this price. 
or do they want just the regular teeth whitening package, which includes 45 minutes of you professionally applying the treatment to their teeth and they can go five shades lighter. What if they feel like their teeth are white, but they just want to go two shades lighter, then they can have the beginners or, you know, think of a name the beginner's teeth whitening package where that only takes half an hour, but they can go up to two shades lighter for only $75. I don't know, something like that. It's great to play around with prices. It's great to play around with names and offer your patients different alternatives. Don't go too crazy and kind of offer 20 different packages because um, no one's going to know what to choose. They're going to have a lot of questions, but don't just offer one either. It's nice to offer different things. All in all, you guys know your worth and charge what you're worth. If you're charging $70 for a one hour teeth whitening session, you still have to pay for the product. You still have to pay for your time. If you're going to the client's house, you have to pay for your gas. Think about all of that. And you want to be making a profit. You know, I teach my students the full business component. You need to be making a profit. So you really have to Play around, play around with pricing and don't you worry guys, I can help you with that, okay? So comment below if any questions and if you wanna learn more about the Whitening Pro Academy, I'm going to leave the link for you guys down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.